This hunt's a prime example of managing your ducks. Uh, we're not hunting the roost hole or where these ducks are roosting on the water. And even though the, the field that we found the ducks in this Milo field is covered with ducks, we're not hunting it either. We're in between the two. We don't hunt waterfowl because we have to. We do it because we want to. We do it because that's what we love to do. Traditions always outweigh the conditions. It's in our blood with every heartbeat. It is inhaled with every breath and exhaled with every cadence of our call. It's our duty as waterfowlers to pass that tradition on. People said we couldn't make a living selling calls and decoys for cold hard cash. But we faced the odds and took a chance. Now this business is our livelihood. Like a well-oiled machine, we have to work as a team. Day in, day out, we rely on everyone around us to make sacrifices. To make tough decisions, to strive for greatness. Sometimes, tensions rise and tempers break. But at the end of the day, we are one. We are Avian X. Avian X TV is brought to you by Browning, the best there is. Mossy Oak, it's not a passion, it's an obsession. Pattern Master, the science of shot. Go Devil. Heavy Shot, the industry leader in performance shot shell ammunition. Zinc Calls, a champion in every call. And Avian X, fuel the madness. Running traffic on Mallards. There's cornfield over here. Brad said that the uh, ducks have been feeding in. And uh, we're just getting in between them. Putting out a pretty good spread. Two or three mojos and catch them going. Probably be some ducks back here, but just a little, little cattle pond basically, and a cattle pasture. <laughs> <laughs> little Bobby. Little Bobby. segment has been brought to you by Browning, the best there is. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> on him. Got him. Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession.
this is our new ATM Green Machine Double Reads. It's a very easy blow and call, but it has some unique features on it. We want to talk to you about that. We have a Z cut, is what we call it. As you can see, this tone channel is special because we removed a lot of the area on the tone channel. We removed about 58% of it, so it reduces the amount of water tension and basically eliminates any style of sticking, any type of sticking whatsoever. There's a little shot of it. Now, this is a standard tone channel, basically made uh, uh, from an Arkansas style call, J frame, what have you. This is one that we make, and, and basically every uh, duck call manufacturer out there right now is making a call very similar to this in style. And uh, when you put it in the water, that's where it really shines. Now this is a, a call loaded up with water. As you can see, the dark area is where the water is. The light area is where the water's already starting to drain out because of the reduced uh, amount of uh, friction area. As soon as it starts going out, you flip the reed a couple times, you can see the, the moisture just going completely away from the call and the reed. This little area right here is where the spit goes. So as you blow the duck call, as that reed hits the tone channel, the spit either goes outwards, and if it does, it ends up right here in the spit pocket. If not, it goes right through the duck call. Now, as we go forward here, we have these lifting troughs right down here. A lot of times when your duck call sticks is when you blow it and the reed lays all the way down, and there's so much water on the, on the, uh, on the channel there, it won't allow it to come back up. We have these lifting gates, we have three. We have two large ones on each side of the reed and one small one in the middle. So as you put air in it, it automatically lifts that reed up and almost eliminates sticking. So as you can see, just a couple flips, most of the moisture is gone. That's the key part of it. Here's a standard style call, a traditional call that many call makers use today. And you can see the dark area on the reed is great. It's almost all the way across the call. Now as it starts to run out, you flip the reed, you can see how much tension is still there on that call. That's the reason why your duck call sticks. So a standard duck call placed in the water, pulled out, shook out a little bit. <laughs> Takes a couple notes to clear up. But an ATM or an MBG with a special t style tone channel. <laughs> clears out very easily. So if you're looking for a new duck call this year and you're tired of your old one sticking, check out the ATM Green Machine. Check us out online at zincalls.com. Zinc Calls, a champion in every call. Sound like it's a small pond. It's in the middle of a milo field. These ducks have been coming in real heavy in the milo field. It sounds like a good lot of mallards, hogs, and pintails. It is now 1.44, so in the next probably hour they're going to be coming.
Brisbane. Brisbane. Oh, Brisbane. Oh, Holy cow. <laughs> that was awesome. Ready? Send the Drake to the left. This segment has been brought to you by Pattern Master, the science of shot. We often talk about what to feed our dogs, but we also need to know when and how much to feed our dogs. I feed my dogs two times per day. Feed at least one and a half hours before training and heavy exercise, and be sure to wait at least two hours after exercise and training. This allows the dog to be able to cool down and be more comfortable while they eat. Use the feeding guideline chart printed on the back of all Yukonuma bags as a good starting point and recommendation for how much food you should feed your dog per day. Feed one third of that in the morning and two thirds in the evening. Unfortunately, the majority of all family pets are overweight and this extra body weight adds additional stress and strain to your dog's joints. Be sure to measure out the food very carefully and feed enough to maintain your dog in a good trim body condition. Remember, you can increase the amount of food that you need during the hunting season, especially when it starts to get cold and we ask our dogs to hunt in some pretty rough conditions. One of the most common conditions in dogs reported by vets is obesity due to overfeeding and lack of exercise. Feeding the correct Yukonuba diet at the right time will help make the most out of the years you have with your dog. For all the members of Team Yukonuba, I'm Dr. Eric Altum wishing you a great hunting season. I shot that left one right from me fast. <laughs> Somebody got that one right in front of me fast. And those three little words of joy. Feathers.
This hunt's a prime example of managing your ducks. Uh, we're not hunting the roost hole or where these ducks are roosting on the water. And even though the, the field that we found the ducks in this Milo field is covered with ducks, we're not hunting it either. We're in between the two. Uh, a lot of times you, you can find the situation in, in the Midwest. Uh, I found it many, many times up in Canada or even in the South is that you get adjacent to where those ducks are feeding. And, and a lot of times there'll be a pond, a small watershed, a river, creek or whatever. And these ducks will go out and feed and for about 20 minutes and they'll go get water and they come back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And by hunting these small watersheds, you don't blow the ducks out of the area and they'll continue to come to that field day after day after day until it's fed out and you can just work on these ducks. Instead of having one or two good hunts in the field and blowing the whole situation out, you can have many, many hunts by simply hunting the fringe of where these birds really want to be. This segment has been brought to you by Zinc Call. A champion in every call. That mossy oak duck blind blends right in by the time they see it. It's a sin shoot where they're going, not where they've been. I got 12 ducks with that green paint job Six more circling right on top I love living life with my eyes to the sky